Russia has released an American held in prison since 2019, but a Metro Detroiter is still behind bars tonight, and his family says time isn't on his side. The family of American Trevor Reed is celebrating tonight after being freed for a Russian prisoner. The swap, a relief for one family, but turmoil remains for another. If the stories about him having tuberculosis and other things are true, then uh, the sooner he gets health care, the better. So that's great news. Obviously, we're extremely disappointed for Paul. That's David Whelan. His brother, Paul Whelan of Novi, remains in a Russian prison tonight, accused of spying by the Russian government. The prison swap leading to more concern about Whelan's chances of being freed. And I think that they are not going to concede Mr. Boot. Um, and so that's really two options that are now off the table for Paul. And so if there are concessions that the U.S. government can make to get Paul's release, uh, they seem fewer than they were before. Whelan still has 16 years in his sentence. I want my parents to see their son again. Uh, they are in their 80s uh, and time is ticking away. And the longer he spends there, if he spends his entire 16 year uh, sentence there, I don't think that they'll be alive. And so fundamentally, that's why I get up every morning. Uh, I do media uh, activity with you. Um, it's to try and, you know, advocate and to help raise awareness about Paul's case so that he can come home and be with them. Whelan says he was in Russia to attend a wedding and was never involved with any spying. Whelan remembers the last time he talked to Paul back in 2018. Talk about uh, the last time that you talked to Paul, the last communication you had with him. Oh, well, that would be, uh, I've had two letters from him, but the last time we actually spoke was October 2018. Uh, and uh, he was going off for a holiday. It was going to be a short two-week holiday to Russia, um, but it's snowy in Michigan. And so he was concerned about our elderly parents shoveling snow. So he wanted to know if I could get down over the Christmas break uh, to be there to help out and you know make sure that they weren't doing anything foolish on the ice. Hard to hold out hope tonight, but it's all the Whelan family has as they wait and keep their focus on one thing, freedom. He struggles with uh, you know being in a labor camp and having to make... Uh, um, things, products there and having to you know, work six days a week and those sorts of things. Uh, it's, it's, it's hard to imagine that not only are you in a terrible prison system, a terrible uh, environment, but you're suffering this gross injustice at the same time. Whelan reportedly speaking out today after the news saying he wishes more was being done to secure his release. David Whelan, meantime, says he's glad that President Biden today pledged to continue efforts to bring his brother home.